In this video, I will use Gauss mu and Gaussian to optimize the structure of the ozone molecule. The formula is O3. We will actually make three different initial structures, linear, bent, and equilateral triangle structures of ozone, and optimize all three, and you will see which one has the lowest energy. And then I'm going to double click this Gauss view here. We will make the initial structure in this window, and we need two more windows. Therefore, you click File, New, and Create Molecular Group. Or you can press Ctrl N to create another new window. Now we need to make the ozone molecule. Click this one to bring up the periodic table. Click this one to bring up the rings. Click this one to bring up the organic functional groups. And click, click this to bring up the amino acids you want to use. So let's get back to the periodic table here. And we need oxygen. And we click this oxygen with two bonds. And then we need to replace the default hydrogen atoms with oxygen atoms. So this time we're going to have to use oxygen atoms. So click the oxygen atom. All right, now let's make a linear molecule. You have to click this bond angle here. And then click this three atoms. We change the bond angle to 180 degrees and click OK. Now we'll make a uh, triangular structure. So the bond order should be 60. Again, this is bond angle. You can use this tab to change the bond angle. One, two, three, and uh, we'll have to use exactly 60 degrees. And then we click OK. Now you have a 60 degrees here. And notice that this Gauss field does not create a bond between the two oxygen atoms, even if they are so close to each other. Again, it's the user's responsibility to determine the bond order, not the software. No chemistry software can help you determine the bond order accurately. All right, now we have three different structures with different symmetries, linear, bent, equilateral triangle. So we're going to optimize the three structures one by one. Calculate, set up. Optimize, so the job type is optimization method. Uh, we click hydrogen fog, we change it to semi-empirical. The default is PM6. We will use the PM6 method. Now submit, save, type the file name here. However, I made those input files before. So I'm going to just use O3 triangular as the file name. And this is GJF, not GIF. Gaussian job file, save. Yes, OK. The calculation takes only uh, five seconds-ish. You can see five seconds here. And we click Yes to close the Gaussian window. And then there are two uh, result files. You can click either one, but we're going to just use the default CHK file. We'll open this CHK file. And we can actually see the energy of this uh, structure, equilateral triangle, 0 0.16 atomic unit, and one atomic unit is 2,625.5 kilojoules per mole. I'm going to put this three together, and now I'm going to optimize this structure. Again, calculate, set up. Job type is optimization, method is semi empirical, PM6, submit. This one is bent, so O3 bent. I'm going to click save. Yes, it's running. It will take, again, several seconds. I click Yes. Open the result files. Yes. OK, I put this here. This is the uh, CHK file. And then I'm going to click Result Summary just to put the energy here as well. Finally, the linear structure, activate this window by clicking the window, and then calculate, set up. The job type is optimization. We'll use semi-empirical method, PM6, submit, save.
And then we're going to use O3 uh, underscore linear TJF save. Yes. Run the file. Several seconds. We'll click yes. Open the check file, and I'll put it here. And you have to rotate this to see this linear molecule. Again, you might notice that the optimization does not change the symmetry. You start from a linear molecule, you end up with a linear molecule. You start with a bent, you get a bent. You start with a triangular structure, you get a uh, equilateral triangular structure. So in general, the uh, Gaussian software or any other computational chemistry software does not break the symmetry or lower the symmetry. So if you start from the uh, really highly symmetrical linear molecule, you end up with this highly symmetrical linear molecule. You start with the uh, equilateral triangular structure, you end up with this uh, equilateral triangular structure. Uh, sometimes the uh, geometry optimization may uh, make the structure more symmetrical. That's possible. It just does not lower the symmetry of the initial molecule. All right, finally, we need the energy of the linear molecule, so we click uh, results and summary to display its uh, energy here. Now let's compare the three different energies, uh, the triangular structure 0.16 atomic unit, bent 0 0.07, linear 0.26, so the bent structure has the lowest energy. Now let's look at the bond distance. We look at the bond distance, what you can do is very simple. You just click the two atoms here and here. And you see the bond distance is 1.43. That's a single bond. Or you can just uh, click two other atoms, 1.43. How about this two? 1.43, uh, again, it's a, a collateral triangle. All right, how about this two? 1.17. So it seems that this bond order is higher than this one. And there's a reason if you can draw the root structures of this two. And finally, this one, also roughly 1.1 uh, angstroms. So this bond distance is also much smaller than this bond distance, 1.4. This is 1.1, this is 1.1 to 1.2, this is 1.4. So really, in this structure and this structure, you see a bond order higher than the bond order in the equilateral triangle structure. Now let's look at the dipole moment. Due to this high symmetry here, the dipole moment is zero, and also here the dipole moment is zero. The only reason is this dipole and this dipole they cancel. Same here. I mean, uh, you have three uh, identical bonds, and uh, overall the uh, bond polarity will cancel. And anyway, these two oxygens are identical, so there's a zero bond polarity here, here, or here. However, for this one, this is uh, a little different you have to be able to draw two different resonance structures for the ozone molecules. In one structure, you have a double bond here and a single bond here. And in the second structure, you have a double bond here and a single bond here. And overall, you have a bond order of 1.5 on average between these two oxygen atoms and between these two oxygen atoms. And you will see this oxygen atom in the center has a formal charge of plus one, the two uh, oxygen atoms on top and bottom each has a negative one-half formal charge. So 